through a fastidious assessment of the carefully presented, front view, side view, and back, photos of exactly 4,000, modestly. However, less dressed, college-aged men, Sheldon got convinced that there were three crucial components that, in different extents, added to every individual's real body. He guessed that there likely could be some connection between these components and the three layers of the human embryo, the endoderm, the mesoderm and the ectoderm, and subsequently gave the three components that he held as adding to all human physical makeups the names endomorphy, mesomorphy, and ectomorphy. He developed methods of normalizing the estimation and mathematical articulation of the different degrees to which every one of the three components was available in any distinctive individual's physical makeup. He came to see endomorphy as being focused on the stomach-related framework, especially the stomach. Mesomorphy as being focused on musculature and the circulatory framework. Ectomorphy as being focused on the sensory system and the cerebrum. As his speculating proceeded, Dr. Dot Sheldon came to perceive that singular people would all have stomachs, muscles, and sensory systems, however would likewise contrast, in the innate focal point of their bodies towards their stomachs, their muscles, or their sensory systems. He acknowledged that, in any population, there would be a couple of extreme endomorphs, a couple of extreme mesomorphs, and a couple of extreme ectomorphs. He considered extreme endomorphic body types to be towards the fleshy side. He found that outrageous endomorphic body types are blessed with a far longer digestive tract, a lot more than outrageous ectomorphic body types. He considered extreme mesomorphic body types as being enormous, hard, and tending towards a significant and distinct musculature. He saw outrageous ectomorphic body types as being light-boned and tending towards a less dense musculature. He additionally led an enormous number of reviews coordinated towards the examination of whether there was any recognizable connection between body and disposition type. Sheldon's overviews drove him to consider that there were three fundamental disposition types or human character qualities that he named, viscerotonia, somatotonia, and cerebrotonia. He saw outrageous viscerotonia as being related with an adoration for solace, comfort and relaxation. Outrageous viscerotonics will in general be amiable, food and individuals people. He saw outrageous somatonia as being related with actual confidence. Outrageous somatotonics will in general be particular about active work. Outrageous somatotonics additionally will be enthusiastic about actual rivalry in which they would hope to progress nicely. He saw outrageous cerebrotonia as being related with an articulated requirement for private space. Outrageous cerebrotonics will in general be exceptionally mindful and socially limited. He thought about that there was a solid connection between body type and personality type. As indicated by this view human characteristics are related to their physical built. Outrageous endomorphs tend towards viscerotonia, outrageous mesomorphs towards somatotonia, and outrageous ectomorphs towards cerebrotonia. While Sheldon composed a few books on the theory of human demeanor type slash human character characteristics these appear to be no longer in production. While it is fairly known that the acceptance of his work has fallen down, a strong case can be argued regarding some psychological truths he brought forth while linking his theories to that of other psychologists. This is all about the constitutional theory by Mr. Sheldon. The basis of his theory is an assumption that human body types and their personality types are strongly correlated and even describes a relation between different body types and what kind of personality traits they possess. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Explified. See you next time.